Shakespeare isn't usually the first thing that comes to mind when talking about motorcycles. But after a few weeks with the 2025 Indian 101 Scout, it's hard not to reflect on Romeo and Juliet's iconic line. Asterisk, what's in a name? Asterisk, if a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Does the 101 Scout, by any other name, remain just as thrilling? Sure, Scout SP has a nice ring to it. But let's dig deeper. Names carry weight, and Indian Motorcycle knows it. By christening its newest cruiser after the legendary 101 Scout, a bike that helped define the brand's early legacy, Indian sets the bar high. This isn't just any cruiser. It's a modern performance machine that masterfully bridges the gap between the timeless appeal of a V-twin and the cutting-edge innovation of today's motorcycles. One ride on the 2025 101 Scout makes it clear. This bike delivers on its promise. It quickly emerged as the standout in Indian's revamped Scout lineup and a true contender in the middleweight cruiser category. But what about living with it day to day? Does it have the personality and performance to keep the excitement alive every time you open the garage door? Or are there gaps in its otherwise impressive offering? To answer those questions, Indian handed over the keys to a 101 Scout for an extended test ride. Spoiler alert, we're as enamored with the name and the bike as we were on day one. What makes the 101 Scout special? The 101 Scout headlines Indian's completely revamped 2025 Scout lineup, which now features the Scout Classic, Scout Bobber, Super Scout, and Sports Scout. All models benefit from a new 4 2025 frame, the redesigned Speed Plus 1250 engine, and upgraded platform-wide components. But the 101 goes further, offering exclusive features like dedicated ECU tuning, fully adjustable suspension, upgraded brakes, and unique styling cues including machine triple clamps and bespoke paint options. It's a name that carries a promise, and a bike that delivers. Indian claims the 101 Scout's custom engine tune delivers an extra 6 horsepower compared to base model Scouts. While we couldn't confirm that directly without a side-by-side -side comparison, here's what we do know. Our 2025 101 Scout cranked out an impressive 100.4 rear-wheel horsepower and 74.9 pound F-teeth of torque on Cycle World's in-house dyno. For perspective, a previous generation Scout 2018 model recorded 84.6 horsepower and 63.9 pound FT of torque on the same equipment. The takeaway? Indian's middleweight cruiser lineup, especially the 101, is clearly on the rise. One of the standout features is the torque curve, as flat as a Florida horizon with no dips in the power delivery. It's smooth, consistent, and a joy to experience upgraded suspension and brakes the 101 scout takes performance up a notch with fully adjustable suspension up front there's an inverted fork while the rear gets piggyback shocks with three inches of travel both a major improvement over the non-adjustable setups found on other scout models dual disc brakes add to the package providing extra stopping power and confidence the bike styling follows the west coast performance cruiser trend featuring a sporty quarter fairing and moto-style handlebars mounted on 6-inch risers. However, there's one notable omission that controls. While they'd suit a performance cruiser perfectly, they're only available as an accessory. Fully loaded features. Unlike other Scouts, which offer various trim options, the 101 comes fully decked out with Indian's Limited Plus Tech Package. This includes a 4-inch touchscreen display, keyless push-button ignition, and all the features of the limited package. Ride modes, traction control, cruise control, and a USB charger. The 101 Scout is packed with modern conveniences, but Indian has intentionally avoided letting tech overshadow the raw, stripped-back appeal of an American V-Twin Cruiser. The mission? Combine cutting-edge performance and features with the simplicity and character that make bikes like the Scout timeless. Mission accomplished. No pressure, folks. Life in the saddle. We won't describe the 101 as a simple motorcycle. There is an elemental feel to it with that big V-twin stuffed into a visually lighter-looking steel tube front frame. But the bike has a high-quality, grown-up look to it that you don't always get from middleweight cruisers. Parked in the garage, it doesn't look like a bike that you'll grow out of in a few years, but an aspirational machine with real presence. 
It is, of course, a smaller motorcycle when compared to the Harley-Davidson Low Rider S, an Indian Sport Chief we tested earlier this year. And while that gives it a touch less presence than those bikes, it doesn't feel too small for riders at or just over the 6-foot mark. We knocked the forward controls earlier. But the reality is they open the door to a nicely relaxed riding position that's just sporty enough, without feeling overly committed. This is a very easy motorcycle to get on and stay on. We say stay on because most of our rides on the 101 ended up being longer than planned, simply because we were enjoying the ride too much to head home. There's daylight left? What's a few more miles? Engine performance is best described as flexible. Changes to the Speed Plus 1250 engine, including a lighter crank, mean there's not as much immediacy as you might expect at low revs. But Indian hasn't completely disregarded the traditional V-twin character, and there's still enough grunt to get off the line with relative ease. Factor in the added top-end performance, and you have a bike that's incredibly flexible, with a wide enough rev range for anything from casual city riding to faster-paced rides on your favorite sections of Canyon Road. We weren't in love with the Scout's slip assist clutch when testing it in the hills of San Francisco, but it felt intuitive and user-friendly once we spent more time with the bike. We also got to play around with the different ride modes. Though we typically reverted to sport, the power curve is just soft enough in the less aggressive standard that it almost requires more attention and makes the bike harder to ride in traffic. Given that the 101 Scout's other big features are its adjustable suspension and upgraded brakes, it's easy to want to turn the conversation to more spirited riding. And the reality is that the bike is indeed plenty capable of a good time when the road starts winding itself around a mountain. It's relatively nimble, stable, and offers plenty of feedback through the new chassis, allowing you to easily dip peg feelers into the tarmac. Maybe more surprising though was how often we found ourselves appreciating the 101 as performance upgrades in the mundane. Los Angeles's endless supply of potholes and rain grooves are less memorable with improved bump absorption, and again, you don't always get that on middleweight cruisers. Meanwhile, on our weekend trips into the canyons, the suspension offered just enough added performance to not feel like we were asking too much of the bike. You'll still ride the bike within the limits of a performance cruiser, and with the acknowledgement that this is still very much a cruiser, but there's a generous enough threshold that you don't feel out of place on something other than the highway. The same goes for the dual-disc Brembo brakes, which have a sense of immediacy and power that is missing on the other Scouts, and even on the larger Indian Sport Chief we've just gotten off of. Sharpness is not here, just in the name, 